Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. This is going to be part... God, I don't even know anymore. It's been a marathon kind of recording session over the past few days, but whatever part this is, that's what part it is. So let's start, and I'm going to stick with Kane for a while, because I've had really good luck with Kane. I guess not overall, but I've had more good luck with him than I have had with other people. So let's open this chest immediately. Uh, traded a key for a bomb, which is not a fantastic trade, but it's okay. Uh, I tend to, I think if you, uh, if you looked at all of my stats over the course of this Let's Play, I think I tend to have a shortage of bombs more than I have a shortage of keys. So this is, uh, perhaps a beneficial trade, but we won't know until I already do have a shortage of one of them, unfortunately. And I could use a bomb to get to that chest. Maybe I could put a bomb right here. First, let's see what we've got in this item room. Ah, Magic Mushroom, all stats up right off the bat. That's a really good item to get so early in the game. So I'm gonna have Wicked Damage and Wicked Speed, and that also counts as an HP up as well. That's a fantastic item to get. I'm gonna save this bomb because uh, I might want to get to the secret room as well. Having a lot of cash is one of my strategies for uh, doing good in a cane run, because going to the shop allows me to buy some items that could possibly counteract his shortcomings. For example, his lack of starting health, although I'm already uh, on par with the starting health of Meat Boy and only one away from the starting health of Magdalene. And I think it's working out for the best so far. So there's the boss. Really, getting a magic mushroom right off the bat is a fantastic draw. What else do we have over here? Single group of double fly. Part of that, and get another bomb, okay. Now, here is the hard part. Where would, if I was a secret room, would I be here or in the other spot? I guess I'd be in the other spot. It's a shame to have to waste this bomb, or I guess that bomb. But hopefully there will be some bombs in the secret room. Unlikely, but possible. Oh, or maybe that's not where the secret room is at all. Well, that was just a total waste then. Hopefully that won't come back to bite me in the ass. So let's go fight our first boss here. Ah, Larry Jr. No big deal, especially with the upgrades that I've gotten so far. Although I'm in a kind of a tricky situation here. Or at least I was right at the very beginning. They could have pincered me. Here, oh, I've got both of them in a, in a horizontal line here. Or I did for a second. Again, goddamn my slow speaking style. Everything's already over by the time I comment on it. That'd be a terrible sports announcer. There go my dreams of doing English commentary for the GSL. Anyway, come on, Larry. Get down here. Get down here. He's very, very nearly dead. So I think someone left a, an important comment the other day that said those cubes of meat that drop, if you've seen the more recent videos, you know... Uh, that I have a, a fondness, a pension for those cubes of meat. Uh, apparently they don't drop randomly, they drop when you beat one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Let's see if that's true. Well, this is actually a pretty shitty item to get right now. The belt, which just gives me a little bit of extra speed, but I'm already like so fucking fast here. Uh, but getting that spirit heart is worthwhile as well. Let's make it down to the next level here. So, more of these guys. Uh, these guys aren't so bad, it's only when you get down into the caves and deep rock. Oh, the caves and deeper when they start actually like jumping or phasing out of the air and um, then shooting bullets when they land. Those are possibly my least favorite enemies in the game. Alright, we're gonna have to do some circle strafing here. These guys have a really quick rate of fire on that. One more and he should be dead. If I could just hit him. There we go. And a single penny. It seems like I get drops in every room when I'm playing this cane. I wonder... I've really got to look up the uh, the stats on the lucky foot and see exactly what it does. But I'm really liking this damage up so far. Let's get him over here. Oh, whoa, that was quite a jump out of that guy. And that's unfortunately going to make it impossible for me to go into the mob trap room without getting some more health. So item in here. Attack fly. Okay, that's cool. I think this fly will go and attack other enemies that appear. Really use well. I don't necessarily need an extra heart right now, but it would be nice to have an extra heart. Let's put it that way, especially now that I just, or sorry, just a, a heart to replenish my my hearts. I think that Gish killed the other Gish. That was not very nice of him. Oh, and some bombs. Fantastic. That was the other thing I was gonna say that I really could use a, a supply of. Hey, and there's a free key. Can't complain about that. Can't al also can't complain about a room with only four flies in it. That gives you a free treasure chest. That drops a key in three cents. Let's check out this shop, see what we got in here. Tarot card for five cents, key for three cents, and nothing really worth my time in here. Let's save that five cents and maybe I can use it on the next floor. Another really helpful comment that was left recently that I just chose to ignore was uh, don't waste your keys on early shops. Unfortunately, I did not take that advice to heart. Maybe 
it's coming back to bite me in the ass a little bit here. Oh, there's my heart and my sense. All right, let's go on and fight the boss, because there's no clear indication of where the secret room is here. It could be in one of four spots. Actually, let's go do this mob trap room. Always like the early mob trap rooms, because, uh, you know, having to deal with four flies... Ah, actually, four grandfather flies is kind of a tough draw, but still not, uh, not as bad as it gets later in the game. My attack fly did a little bit of damage there, thank god. Oh, and then these guys, no big deal. Just a little bit of circle strafing. Again, I actually kind of don't like getting this many speed ups this early in the game. Because it feels like I'm actually too fast for my own good. Like, I can't even control myself. So who are we fighting here? Famine, which means that I will we'll test this theory, see if it's correct. If it is indeed correct, I should be getting a... Oh, I didn't even... I thought I murdered that guy. I should be getting a cube of meat here. And, you know, that would really be my in my best interest as well. I would love to have, see that happen, because Meat Boy is probably my favorite upgrade. Not only is he just gosh darn cute, but the guy's also a powerhouse in the sack. I mean, a powerhouse when you're fighting Mom in the sack. Um, okay, I gotta murder these flies, because now we can't spawn anymore. Great diagonal shot there. Haven't been uh, doing too well on the dodges so far this game, but hopefully... Oh, of course! What a fitting time to get hit. Hopefully that won't become too much of an issue. Alright, so there we go. We did get a cube of meat, indeed. Lots of things circling around me right now. I feel like the prodigal sun. You get it? Because the sun has things orbiting around it. And also Isaac is a sun. And also prodigal is a religious word that I don't know the meaning of. Anyway, murder these silkworm maggots. Come through here. Uh, these heads are annoying as hell. Because when they explode, they explode in a shower of laser bullets. See if I can get some diagonal shots off here. Oh, that was a big one. And he dropped a nickel, too. Good for me. Bad for him. I need six cents out of this one room. Almost got enough to buy a good item if I go to the shop. So let's get this guy to shoot. And then we'll just wait here and ambush him. Oh, come on. That didn't kill him. There we go. One more shot should do it. One more skull tulla. Come in here. Ah, and he still needs one more shot. There we go. And another bomb, I'll take it. So you might have been noticed that I haven't mentioned the blue rocks as much anymore. Uh, part of the reason is because every time I do in the comments, there's always 55 messages being like, you missed some blue rocks, you dumb retard. Um, but the other reason is that usually I don't have enough bombs to be wasting them on blue rocks. When I do, sometimes I will make a look for them, but um, a lot of the time I won't. Just because it doesn't seem like a cost-effective use of my bombs. If I could just get a diagonal or a, a, a lane on these guys, I could start dealing some damage. Come on, there we go. And then this guy too. Alright, two more flies. Worth a bomb to get two potentially damaging pills in a chest that might have only one cent in it. Why the hell not? Oh, fair trade. Got a key, got some bombs, got some pills. Actually, oh, I can't get out of this room now. Okay, let's murder these silkworms, then we'll go back, because I think the secret room might be directly above that room that we were just in. Oh, and another spirit heart. That's going to be useful. So I wouldn't bank on getting HP ups for the rest of this. Well, maybe. You never know. Let's use the pill here, see if it's a bomb. Nope, full health. Uh, kind of a waste, but you know, could have been worse. Could have made me retarded. Secret room isn't there? Come on! Right, go back here, then. I want to make sure we explore the whole thing, because I definitely want to get all of the items to make the most use of uh, Isaac's passive luck foot power-up that I possibly can. Alright, guys, I would really like you to stand all in a row so I can more easily dodge these shots. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Alright, I need one more cent, too, before I really feel good about go going into the shop. Oh, this is a fucking clusterfuck! One of the gishes must die! Let's go for the big one first. And he dropped a bomb. Can't complain about that. Accidentally killed that other gish. Just keep moving on in this direction. Ah, worth a bomb for three cents? We'll see. What item do we have here? Ability to slow down time. Oh, let's might as well put this fire out. Not a huge boon, but um, you know, it's okay. Should be able to use that. Uh, you know what? I will use a bomb to get three cents, even though bombs cost five cents, just because this will make it so I can buy the fifteen cent item in the shop. I think that's a good strategy, but I might be talking out of my ass. <clears throat> so let's go through here. 15 cent item, uh, what is this? Oh, an extra, a uh, 1-up, yep, definitely worth that. So, oh, no, it's speed plus range. Oh, my bad, I thought it looked exactly the same as the, uh, the other mushroom that gives you a 1-up. But anyway, I can't complain about that. 15 cents for a passive upgrade is not so bad. So, 
Take out these bomb flies. Can potentially be a devastating enemy if you're not paying attention. Make sure that they all explode in the same region. There we go. Perfect. Another spirit heart. Never gonna complain about that. And then we'll make our way towards the boss. Where's the secret? I can't believe the secret room is not in that location. But anyway. I haven't found any secret room so far. I'm surprised I'm doing so well for money. I guess that one enemy did drop a nickel. <clears throat> so come up here. Ah, just bombs. Is there any way I can get to those bombs using only one bomb? Let's try putting one here and seeing what happens. That didn't work at all. And now I only have one bomb left, so I can't get over there. Well, that was poor on my part. I suppose I could have put one here, walked on here, and then put one there, and used two bombs to get three bombs. Instead, I used one bomb to get no bombs. Which is a shame, because judging by the comments, I'm going to want those bombs the next time I go out and fight Mom's heart. Oh, where are you going, Peep? So again, Peep, I've talked about Peep like five or six times now, so I don't think we necessarily need to run down on what makes Peep so Peepy. Oh. That was, a, that was a lucky hit on his part. But let's just say next time he does something where I can get close to him, I will use this... Yeah, let's use the slowdown power-up. And then just get close to him and hammer away. Ah, uh, well, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would, but... Whoa! Whoa! I'm not used to him shooting so many shots. How long is... Is time slowed for the entire room? I don't know, just for a, a long time. If time slowed for the entire room, this, this would be OP on bosses. They would just stand there for the entire time and you can hammer away at them. But luckily, Peep is going down pretty quickly. Kind of a good layout to be fighting Peep on because uh, all of his like circular shots get kind of beaten out by those rocks there. But on the other hand, it does decrease my mobility a little bit. I think it's a fair trade. This would probably be the end of Peep right here. Oh, poor guy's got one one more shot left in him. Come on, buddy. Let me hit you one time. Thank you. Okay. We got some more health that I can't use right now. Tears up. Alright. Tears up is always a good upgrade. What do we have here? I could trade in two hearts for nine lives or whatever that Led Zeppelin symbol is. I'm not going to do that. Let's move on. I need all the hearts I can get right now. Alright. Uh, a room full of these guys is a pain in the ass. Of course I was going to get hit by that. Okay. okay this is a bad situation. Just got to focus for a second. Okay. Perk up. Perk up, buddy. Stop shooting. Yes. Now you. I said now you, not you. Oh, I guess I can murder this guy from long distance, though. Excellent. And then this guy. Worked out well, but I did take a fair amount of damage there. What do we got going on in here? Let's use the slowdown power, just because this room could potentially be a little bit tricky, just because there's so many bullets being fired at once. And there we go. Got a bomb out of the situation. Got a scent out of the situation. Got a half heart out of the situation, which I can use as well. Ah, and then we got a little Larry Jr. here. A little Larry Jr.? That's kind of uh, redundant, I suppose, but we'll wait till he gets in our line of sight. He should go down pretty easy. I think he has less health than the regular Larry Jr., which is not necessarily important. I'm pretty sure I still could have murdered him anyway, but hey, I can't complain. Okay, and he'll drop a bomb in the center, so I might as well use a bomb to get that bomb. Use the key to open the chest. Get another bomb. Okay, now I'm short on keys, though. What item do we have here? Oh! Um... Blast damage. I've never seen that before. So I've become a twitchy bomber man. With a coat hanger through his head. Wearing an eye patch. Or maybe that bomber man is normally wearing an eye patch. Confession time! I am not really familiar with the bomber man series at all. Let's move upwards and see if I can't do some explosive damage to these young gentlemen over here. That must be what it does. I thought it w originally it was the item that just gave you 10 bombs, which would have been useful as well. Or maybe it did. It seems like I have an awful lot more bombs than I had before. But I do also have this helmet. So I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Let's just blow up this slot machine. And my bombs have happy faces. Maybe that's the item. All right, maybe I'm not doing any explosive damage with my shot sh shots, which honestly is probably for the best, because I would most de definitely end up murdering myself more than murdering the enemy. So, just a few more shots on this guy. Every time I say shots, I'm reminded of that terrible song by the LMFAO. And if I get six more cents, I could buy that great item in the shop. If there is a great item in the shop, which, you know, oftentimes there's not. I'm really hoping to fight some more Horsemen of the Apocalypse so that I can get more cubes of meat 
and assemble my own fully formed version of Meat Boy, but we'll see. We'll see if that happens. Oh, oh, oh! This is a tricky uh, spot right here. I thought I was trapped for a minute. Really like to explode one of these bomb flies and then take everything else out with them. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get hit by that. Okay. One more bomb flight. Oh, that opened the door automatically. Now I see what you guys mean by using bombs to open up doors. It's not locked doors, it's only closed doors. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, like a champion version of the human popcorn. That's a good enemy to get a champion version of. They're pretty easy. There we go. He drops a heart. Would have preferred almost any other item. I guess I got a bomb out of it in the end, so I can't complain. Can I blow this TNT far enough to get to that money? No. But again, I actually am going to use my bomb to get over here. Because I have so many of them now. And now I can go to the shop and potentially buy another item for 15 cents. So let's make our way back over here. I feel like definitely getting good items is key to surviving in this game. Not just winning, but surviving. Use our last key to get to the shop. Uh, we'll buy the Spelunker's Helmet, which allows us to see through rooms. See through doors, I should say. And then, with my extra five cents, buy a key or buy a spirit heart. Live dangerously or live safely. You know what, I'm probably going to live safely. So let's get the spirit heart. And then move on. Hopefully I don't end up needing a key for something. Now, by, with the ability to see through doors, I just want to come back here and see if, indeed, the secret room is here. Doesn't seem like it's here. So let's keep moving on. This should show the secret room when we're in a room adjacent to the secret room. I believe. I have had this Spelunker Summit once before. I don't know if it was on video, though. Let's move to the left here. I don't think it'll be in here. Oh, wait, actually it is. Right down here. Where I least expected it. And in here we get even more money. So I guess, I suppose I could buy a key, actually, if I wanted to. But now that I'm so close to 15 cents, Probably just gonna oh HP up that's fantastic. Probably just gonna save my money so I could use it on the uh, on the shop on the next level. Gotta get as many items as possible, of course, because there's no shops in the womb. It'd be really good to get a compass. I mean, this is being presumptuous. Even I'm presuming I am going to defeat the regular mom. But uh, you know, if I get down to the womb, I want to have the compass so I can just do a beeline straight to the boss because there's no item rooms in those shops. So that'd be really for the best, shall we say. These Skulltellas, take them out. Yeah, oh, oh, the cube of meat saved my life. Meat Boy, proving himself good in a pinch, even when I don't have his fully evolved form. One more. Doesn't that guy so shaky? He's got like type 2 diabetes. More bombs, alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Could be worse. Um, let's go into this last room here on the bottom left, and then we will go fight the boss. Just in case there's something interesting in here that I might want. If I get in trouble, I can always use my slowdown power-up. This is a pretty bad room, and in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have gone in here. But hey. If I can just avoid... Ah! So close! Disregard my sentence about avoiding. There we go. Took him out, no item. But I guess I did get some more combat experience. I'm always trying to look on the bright side. Another horseman? Oh, Gertie, okay, now it's, again, time to demonstrate that I got this Gertie demon on my off my back, and I can now murder her with consistency. Murder her? Him? It's? Who knows? So the trick to Gertie is that she only has, like, two attacks. She will either spawn an enemy, or she will do this, like, face, and then she will shoot in one of three directions. And the, the direction is going to be the direction towards you. So you can see when she covers her mouth, she's about to do the shooting attack. And then all you gotta do is move to a different uh, spot on the screen, and you should be totally fine. Looks like Gertie is pretty much destroyed already. And another HP upgrade, again, can't complain about that. Up to five hearts, so I'm not gonna need spirit hearts as much as I normally have. So we're going to the depths one now. Okay. What do we face first? Ah, oh, these guys. Blow up the TNT as fast as possible. Okay. Wheel of Fortune spawns a slot machine. I'm gonna save that for now. I have good reason, I promise you. Well, not really, but believe me anyway. <laughs> we'll shoot these things. Please have a key. Oh, I'd, if I'd thought faster, I could have pushed that over here to get a key. But can I use only one key, or only one bomb to get one of those keys? I would really like... Oh, get the fuck out of there. I would really like to do that. 
Jesus Christ, I lost a lot of health in this room. They better drop a heart or something. Lucky me! Guts, come on, buddy! I... I... Whoa, I am on the verge right now. One of these things will murder me. Okay, let's take out this. This has got to drop some item. Please be something good. A heart. Okay, that's, that's exactly what I needed right there. Enough to survive for another room. Okay, I will definitely... I don't have any keys! I'll continue moving down then. Alright, there's the boss. Oh, this is a nasty room. Perfect time to use this item. Especially since, obviously, I'm not going to be fighting the boss right away. Dropped a key. Exactly what I needed. Everything's coming up Millhouse again. Let's blow up. I'm going to use a lot of bombs in this section, most likely. Use one here to get to this money. One here should blow up that tinted rock. Excellent. Drop two spirit hearts for me. Crisis fucking averted. And more range up. All right. Could be better, could be worse. But on the whole, things went a lot better in those two rooms than they did in the couple of rooms before. That was a weird room, wasn't it? Kill these zombies. I think I'm starting to get the trick of these guys. Sometimes. Not always. But just get behind him and you seem to be okay. Another nickel. Fantastic. There's going to be a mini boss in here. Let's fight him. Why not, right? Oh, uh, gluttony. Gluttony can be a pain in the ass. Does the same thing that those other miniature guys do. Oh, uh, in addition to that, that I just walked right into. But on the whole, gluttony isn't so bad. Uh, should drop some items for us, which is the main reason to. Oh, god damn, I did the same thing again. To fight a mini boss, uh, even when you're not exactly doing so hot. But I still picked up some hearts there. I think that was a net positive. That's what I'm gonna tell myself anyway. I need to pick up a key so I can get to an item. But I think this will not do it for me. Like, blowing up those rocks won't do it for me. They'll just fill the diagonals. So I'll have to use maybe... Oh, this should still get me the key. Excellent. I was stupid before when I thought that it wouldn't. Uh, and you know what? I will get the second key as well because I will want to go to the shop. Now that I have 21 cents. Yeah, so let's continue moving on. We've explored all that part over there. And we have already found where the boss room is. Oh. This is a, kind of a tricky room. Got to do some intricate strafing. Watch out for those double flies, because they explode into single flies. But luckily, I'm protected by my attack fly and that first cube of meat. Another spirit heart. Fantastic. Brain guys go down pretty easy. Remember, I did get that magic mushroom at the beginning, so all of my damage has increased a little bit. Hey, fly, come on, buddy. I'm just trying to make a living here like anybody else. Another sense in the middle. The item room, what do we have? All right, better pills. Fantastic. I mean, I haven't gotten a lot of pills so far. But it's nice to know that if I do, I can use them effectively. Another Larry Jr. Good lord. This guy's really getting the shit kicked out of him today, isn't he? So we'll just do the same thing we always do when we fight Larry Jr. This is like the 15th time, probably, that I fought him on camera. It might actually be more than that by now, like I mentioned at the start of the video. I don't exactly remember which part of the Let's Play this is. Uh, there's been an awful lot of them coming out over the past week or so. Oh, there's the secret room. I can't really look to see where it is right now because I'm in the middle of an intense firefight. But up, 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 up. Ah, I took damage there. But once I get these bomb flies out of Oh! That was dumb of me. Well, everything will be easier. Alright, so let's use one of our Mr. Happies there. Three cents? Make sure to drink your oval team. Ah, whatever, let's continue. The shop has gotta be super clear. Larry Jr., what are you doing here, man? And why are you shooting bullets at me? It's the first time I've ever seen you do that. It's still, a shitty life for you, my man. Heart I can't use. A mob trap room. Yeah, let's go to the mob trap room. Might as well. Teleport? I don't want that. I'd rather have my, my spacebar item. Teleport. It seems like things could go wrong quite easily. There's the shop. Excellent. So after I go to the shop, I can go to the boss, which is hopefully one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. Something that, again, probably no one in real life has ever said. But this isn't real life. This is Let's Play, motherfuckers. Murder that. Another sense. Another bomb. Another shop. Ladder. Ladder's gonna be useful. Definitely pick that up. Let's see if we got any items in here. Almost never happens, but it would be nice, wouldn't it? 
And I think for five cents, I might as well pick up another Spirit Heart. Better safe than sorry. Now, there was a key back here that I think I can get. I might as well, might as well because I have to go back that way anyway. This is going to make my walk so much faster now that I can walk over these pits and shit. Let's go. Keep moving straight. 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 Down. Uh, two cents, not worth it for me. And let's go fight the boss. What do we have? Monstro 2, okay. Yeah, remember, I, I think I say this every time, but I, this is always my opportunity to prove that I wasn't talking shit when I said I could beat Monstro 2 without taking damage. And of course, in the middle of that sentence, I took damage, so never mind. Fucking laser bullet flies. Take them out, I really thought I could sneak by that guy there. At least I bought that, uh, that extra spirit heart. When you get Monstro, when you get Monstro 2 on these runs, where all he does is the same fucking jumping attack. It's a real pain in the ass, because it takes... You never get him in a position where you can just kind of... Wow, well, that was dumb. Where you can never just stand still and attack him. Okay, you know what, Monstro? This one's for you. Really should be using my spacebar item more often. Oh, uh, where did you go? Slowdown is incredible! No, now he's gonna spawn more of these motherfuckers. Took a lot more damage here than I was expecting, but uh, when Monstro dies, he should give off a, a shit ton of health as well, so... I, you know, I'm not gonna die here. This will not be my end. It'll be in Monstro's... I, I keep walking into those bullets, I'm too goddamn fast! Uh, it'll be in Monstro's end if I have anything to say about it. There we go. More HP up! You know, with the way I'm playing right now. Let's get this before we get the HP up, because I could accidentally walk into that shaft there. Good. Um, with the way I'm playing right now, I can't complain about getting HP ups. So here we are in the depths too. I'm just going to explode the slot machine. I've got a slot machine whenever I want it anyway. Uh, by way of that Wheel of Fortune card I'm holding. Yeah, I'm not... Ah, uh, what a waste. Not super happy with my... Weird. Okay. Not super happy with my upgrades so far. What pill do we have? Full health? Fuck, okay, let's hold on to this and leave Wheel of Fortune. But I, I can't complain too much about the upgrades that I've had. They, they've all been decent. Not great, but decent. That was some pro dodging back there. Did you guys see that? That was pretty good. Okay, so this guy will die too. And only these two guys that are just doing a figure figure square here. I was going to say figure eight. Then I realized that would be one of the stupidest things I'd ever said on camera. On camera? What do you call it when you're recording your voice? I guess it's, I suppose it's on microphone. Whoa! Okay. These guys got to move quickly. So I could just fight the boss after this room. But I think what I want to do is definitely get that last item room in the last shop because in the womb, obviously, they don't exist. I'm really proud of myself with that room, actually. That went much better than it could have gone. And another key. I was getting a little bit short on those. Let's come through here. More guts. Guts are probably my, my favorite enemy to fight at this point in the game just because they're so predictable and so easy. I think they do a full heart of damage. That's like their trade-off. They're predictable, but uh, you know they can hurt you if you mess up. But I don't mess up on them that, that often, although I did take damage from one earlier in this game. Now we just gotta get ourselves in line with this guy right here. He should go down pretty easily. Another cent. Maybe I can get enough money to buy uh, an extra item from the shop. You know, actually, I can't complain too hard about my items in this game, just because I did get three HP ups as well, which is pretty important as Kane, especially when you're, uh, you're like me, apparently a little bit out of practice and uh, taking an awful lot of hits that you shouldn't be taking. Wait for the creep to die down on that scent. Continue moving forwards. There's the secret room. So the Spelunker Head is basically paying for itself by saving me bombs. Otherwise, I'd be using a ton of bombs trying to find the secret room. I hate these fetus things here. I don't even know what those are, to be honest with you. And then use our Mr. Happy Bomb here. Ah, oh, goddammit, Greed, you always show up at the worst possible time. Luckily, I have this full health pill. That is a good pill. I'm happy with that. Dude, greed went down so easily there. Ah, and the item we got was actually the Steam Sale, right? Yeah, so everything is 50% off now. Uh, which means when we do go to a shop, we'll be able to buy even more items. Which is good, because this is the last shop, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, I've mistakenly said that about six times over the course of this video already. Oh, I don't want that one. Where would the shop be? We gotta check this room out anyway, obviously. Even though it's full of my least favorite enemy in the game. Uh, 
Ba, just keep moving. A, B, C. Always be circle striping. Right. Where are you coming here? Took some damage. But again, I'm not too worried about taking damage right now just because I have that pill that I can use at any time. Right. These bomb pills are not going to be much of a problem. The bomb pills. These bomb flies should... Of course I took damage, I have Shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, and there is the shop directly above us. So I can just get this motherfucker to finally explode. Jesus Christ. It's like the opposite of the movie The Visioneers. Come on. The opposite of the movie The Hurt Locker. Oh, I don't even have to use my pill. What do we have here? Chocolate milk. Oh, that's a good one. Charged shots. So now I've got charged, super powerful shots. Those are enormous. Wow. Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that one. We'll buy a spirit heart. Only three cents. You can't... I don't have three cents. Oh, well, that sucks. You know what I've not found so far in this uh, video is an arcade. Usually you get one of those a playthrough. So charge. I'm not sure if on these guys the charge shot strategy is the best strategy to be running. But it does take them out in one hit if you're lucky enough to hit them. But they're so fucking hard to hit that it can be a problem sometimes. There we go. Lots of bombs. Uh, kind of unnecessary for me. But that's okay. And... Piercing shots. Okay, so I got charged piercing shots. These are going to be pretty good to take out the enemies in the womb. Of course, provided that I do get to the womb. <clears throat> suppose I forgot that this is actually the floor that Mom's on. Whoa, I don't want to be here. Um, so I guess, you know, honestly, we've gotten pretty much everything good on this floor already. We might as well just go fight Mom. Uh, I've got a pretty good selection of spacebar items. I've got that pill that gives me full health, which I actually might use sooner rather than later. First, let's use the Wheel of Fortune. Might as well milk all of our opportunities here. Put one cent in, see if I get lucky. Nope. And then blow it up. Tons of money. Alright, I suppose I could go back and buy something from the shop. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, because I want to be better safe than sorry. Come back up here in this direction gearing up for this boss fight that I hope is gonna go well. Of course we'll buy this. Might as well buy that other bomb because apparently bombs are really good to use on mom's hearts. So we're gonna go into this with seven hearts, the ability to freeze time, ranged and piercing shots. Whoa, look at look at Meat Boy, man. He doesn't look so hot. Uh, yeah, pretty much all good things. Uh, I might use that full health thing right away just so I don't forget. That would be a goddamn shame. Alright, so here's Mom. It's great that fighting Mom is the norm now and not like a rarity. I remember when, like, I used to not even be able to get to Mom. Kane has revolutionized my game. I'm doing really well so far. Let's stop time. Or slow down time, anyway. Oh, and the foot's gonna come down. And I'm gonna be able to do a shit ton of damage to it. Excellent. A little bit more damage to it on this side. Oh, okay. Let's use the full health. Again, better safe than sorry. I know I'm doing pretty well right now, but things can change. One more hit should take out Mom. There she is. Ah, fuck. Okay, go! Get the eye! Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. More HP up. I'll take it. So I successfully defeated Mom. Let's move down into the womb. Now here, unfortunately, I don't have a map, but if I find the boss room... I should be going into these boss fights fucking immediately. Oh, sorry, dude. I don't have any money for you. And I don't want to waste a heart walking over you. I only have two cents for him. Larry Jr., you're having a bad fucking day, man. Go home. She can't legally keep you here, man. Hostile work environment. Okay. Charge shots take out like one segment of Larry Jr. each. One more should actually murder him. Well, that was easy. Another spirit heart. Extraordinarily useful. Some pills. We don't know what they do, but I do have that PhD, so I should be getting good pills. Oh, I can't believe I took damage there, but somehow I'm still... Oh, I must have lost the spirit heart. Oh, fuck. Okay, just not paying attention there. Okay, another bomb. Hmm, let's keep moving in this direction. Stop! The scream is haunting my dreams! Okay, now if I can just get a couple of good charge shots in on these guys. Problem is when you're circle strafing, all your shots go diagonal, so it's a little bit more difficult to aim. 
but not impossible. Just more difficult. Okay, another key. Got some health down. Oh, oh, I can't predict the movement of anything in this room. Whoa, that was a good shot. Unfortunately, I still took some damage from those diglets there. Okay, this guy should go down. Bring it on, motherfucker. Another chest, some hearts. All right, one heart. That's okay. If I was the boss, where would I be? These guys have got to go first. The shooting things. These charge shots make these guys a lot easier. As you can see, but you still gotta have balls of steel. There's the boss right there. All I gotta do is kill these two monstros. And then I can go fight m Oh, no way, that's not- that's the boss of this level. I thought it was the boss- I thought it was Mom's heart. My mistake, I got a little ahead of myself. Thought that I was about to beat the game for the first time. And on camera, no less. Alright, that went really well, actually. Um, and before we do the fight, let's take these... No, you know what? Let's take the pills during the fight. Whoa! Okay, this is Skolex. Looks like something I had in my stomach once. What do the pills do? Range up, okay. Whoa, I think I've... I... I... How do you kill this thing? I... Uh, well, I guess that answers that question. Um... Let's get these for more range up, and then we'll go down to the womb level 2. Is anything on here worth two hearts at this point. I don't think so. Let's... That was that boss was so easy. Let's just stick with what we got and make it down to the next room. This is the final one, the Womb 2, and I feel good about our chances, especially if we can just find the boss right a fucking way. Oh man, I'm fighting... I, I fucking hate this enemy, man. How do you hit this guy? Without... Oh, you know how you hit him? That's... You hit him like this. Yes! Alright, genius! And it charged up 50% just from beating that one guy. What What are these pimples on mom's womb? Get out of there. This is a, sac this is a sacred area. I've really got to not take damage. Easier said than done, obviously, but... Okay. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Sense! You're, my money is worthless in here! Definitely use a bomb to get to that heart. I will. Th that is a decision I will never regret. Okay. Now, knowing that this uh, time charge item recharges so fast. What? Whoa! The lasers! I fucking forgot about these guys. Don't stand in one fucking place. You fucking die. Okay. We'll use the. I can't even use the the item against them. The the freeze time item. Oh shit, okay. I'm getting taking an awful lot of damage here. Getting a little scared to be honest with you. I could use my mommy oh well, I guess I could just use some hearts. Diglett, submit to my will please. Oh fuck me if I was Oh there's a secret room, okay. There's a heart and the secret room. All I want from this secret room is hearts galore. Please. Greed, you motherfucker! You are the worst of the sins. I wish you nothing but suffering. What do the pills do? I don't know, but I might use them right away. Or I'll use them at the outset of the next room. Oh, Jesus, okay. Speed up, but health down. Wouldn't it be fitting if Larry Jr. ended my life uh, Larry Jr.? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Oh, another really close run. Hopefully it was as entertaining for you guys as it was for me. I had a good time! And I was feeling really positive after the womb level 1, but unfortunately it was not to be. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let's play The Binding of Isaac, part umpteen. I will see you with... I will see you in part umpteen plus one, I suppose. Cut me a break. It's been 40 minutes of recording here. Anyway, see you guys next time.